Hi guys, welcome to or back to my booktube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a reading vlog, which I have tried to film so many recently, and it has just not been working out. Number one, I'm kind of in a book slump. I feel like I've been in a like long book slump since December, just in the sense that I'm not like super excited to read and like pick up a book and like binge a book. And honestly, that kind of sucks. Number two, I have so much to share with y'all, I feel like. Just the things that are like on the top of my head. Number one, we got another dog. This is Hank. He's just the sweetest and cutest little guy. He showed up in our back alley the day after Christmas and he's been here ever since. And then also, as you can see, I got a new rug for my office. I also decorated my Kindle with like bookish stickers and I got a new book sleeve and I just feel like a lot has happened. So I'll show y'all that all later, but for now, let's talk about the books I'm currently in the middle of. Of course, they're hardcovers. So of course I don't have the book sleeves on them. We have Throne of Glass. I am starting with this one in the series. This is the first book I'm reading of the Throne of Glass series. Don't come for me in the comments. I, I really don't want to hear it. So I'm currently 76 pages into this and I'm starting to get the feeling of wanting to read this like a lot so that's kind of why i just started this reading vlog and then the next book i'm reading is finley donovan is killing it and this is so cute i'm loving it i like how i say cute and it's like a cozy murder mystery so anyways i'm currently on page 88 chapter 12 and i'm really enjoying this so far i wasn't sure if i was going to like love it especially considering the book slump i'm in i just didn't know if this was going to be the right read for me but i think after finishing magnolia parks the long way home i just i need a break from like a normal romance and that's kind of why i picked up these two so maybe i will share with y'all more books i want to read in this reading vlog as we get later on in the video also i would love to share my february tbr because i'm not making like a full-blown video for it but that will all be later for now let's just dive right into the reading it's honestly really cold out here i'm not sure how long i'll last but i wanted to try anyways Okay guys, it is now 10.09 and I've kind of been on and off reading. I think I've read 60 pages exactly. I'm now on 137. I feel like plot started to thicken, new characters, everything was just kind of falling more into place. And now I'm like officially invested, which I've been waiting for this moment, so I'm super excited. And then this is non-spoiler, so I think I'm gonna leave that there. But I think I'm done reading for the night. I didn't pick up the other book at all. I will check back in with y'all tomorrow. Listen to this line. No spoilers, just something random. So at first, he gave her a yellow smile, and then it says, she tried not to wince as his hairy, meaty fingers rubbed her pristine skin. Why did we have to go into detail? All right, hi guys, we are back with an update. I think it's been like two days since I started this video. I don't have anything crazy to update on. I just realized both my books are blue. I'm wearing a blue shirt. My coffee, oh my gosh, it's blue. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so I'm only on chapter 21, page 156 of Finley Donovan is Killing It. 
I don't think I have anything to say about this. I like where it's gone so far, but I feel like I have no idea what's next. But as for Throne of Glass, I haven't read any today. But when I stopped, I stopped on chapter 30, page 222. Honestly, I had a roadblock of thinking about Akatar. Like, I should not have been comparing, but obviously because of Sarah J. Mass, I was. But I need to, like, get that out of my brain completely and just focus on this and what could be of this series because it's like eight books. Like, is the first book of an eight book series really going to be the best thing ever? Probably not. So I feel like I'm pretty happy with how this is going though. I'm like right around halfway for both of these. I don't know which one I would pick up and try and finish because obviously this would be easier than this. I don't know, but I think I want to talk February TBR with y'all right now. Okay, so I started a February TBR like way back, probably mid-January, and it's so funny because I thought I would be farther in books than I am. So we definitely have a bit of editing to do, but Daisy Hates is also like a must. I have to read this, and I'm very excited to, don't get me wrong, because I'm so excited for the next Magnolia Parks. And this is so much shorter than the other one, so I'm excited for that. Okay, I also have Addicted for Now on there. I actually have started this. I'm only like one chapter in, but I started this after Magnolia Parks and I was like, I, I can't do this right now. I can't read a romance, but this is on my Kindle and ready for when I'm ready. See, I put Cruel Prince Continued because I thought I would have read the first book. And now I'm so sorry. I'm just taking this off my TBR because I'd rather prioritize Throne of Glass. I think we are going to put Crown of Midnight. <gasps> It's pink. Oh, that's just lovely. To switch over to romances, I had two. I really want to prioritize the love wager. I love Lynn Painter. Like, that's the perfect Valentine's Day read. Aside from the do-over, which I love, especially perfect for Valentine's Day. It's also short. I think this is doable. This is for sure going to be added. And then also Forget Me Not. I think I have this saved as like an audiobook on Spotify or something, so. Okay, and then also on this list, I have Powerless. Nightingale, Mindfuck series, Ruthless Vows. I think we need to take away some of those. Okay, here are those books. They're literally all giant. I, I can't do this. <laughs> I think I'm going to save Powerless till next month because I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's getting me the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition because I wanted it for my birthday. And he said it won't come in until March, I think. So I think I'm going to push this one back for sure because I want to annotate it and I'm a hardback girly. Like you, you guys know the vibe. Okay, here's the official stack. I ended up keeping the Nightingale and then I added a good girl's guide to murder because I have this on the Libby app as an audiobook. I just heard that this was really good as an audiobook. Is this the first one? I'm pretty sure this is the first one. Anyways, I could definitely just add another audiobook to this. So that's why we went with this. All right, so yeah, here's the TBR. Let me know. If you've read any of these and if you're excited for me, I would love to know. Kissing in the shadows. <laughs> Boats, a Magnolia Park story. <laughs> the promise of blood <laughs> with your shadowy kiss. <laughs> and you read two of those? You read what, four and five or three and four? best lighting I've ever had and you want to know why because it is snowing it's literally so pretty outside 
it snowed yesterday but i was actually out of town so i'm now starting this video up again now that i'm back in town i think i got a few clips of me at half price books guys i've done so much damage i think the last time we talked since then i have acquired 20 something books <laughs> and i am so happy about it basically i had a 50 dollars gift card to half price from christmas and we don't have those where i live so when i went home just like to visit family and stuff i went off even when i used up the gift card i continued buying books just because i love buying used books like i i will always look for a used book rather than buying one new i've actually picked up another book and completely finished it in the time we last talked to just because it was an audiobook and i wanted something to listen to on the drive back home and stuff so let me grab two i think y'all know this but i finished finley donovan is killing it but i also started and finished forget me not by julie soto i really did not write much about this book down like usually i write some notes down all i wrote was four stars and that i was entertained the whole time even though i had like no idea what direction we were going in i feel like there was always something constantly going on like i wasn't like bored and you know whatever and as this was like my introduction to cozy mystery i didn't know if i was gonna love it but i absolutely did like when i was just book shopping i literally went into half price and found these two and i bought them right away so that's clearly how you know i really liked this i also love hardcovers and i just know these are gonna be so nice all together and i thrifted all three of them like bought them secondhand so i love that and the way that this book ended it really set up for the next book i have no idea what's gonna happen in that one but i am excited hence why i got these and i already checked if they're on libby and they are i've already placed my hold and yeah i'm not giving this a five stars because i just wasn't obsessed with it which makes me think i'll probably not give any cozy mystery five stars but this one was really good set the expectations high but i would really recommend it next up y'all have seen literally no clips of me talking about this but i think i want to talk about it this is the prettiest cover ever like everything about this book i wanted to absolutely love it and like i was close but not really like the storyline was so unique um he is a florist and she is a wedding planner and this is second chance and i think that may be part of why i didn't like this i don't think i'm a big fan of second chance i've learned and also we just got his point of view only from the past and then hers only from the present and it just didn't really make sense to me like they didn't seem like who they should be in their own POVs. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I still really, really loved this. I just wanted a little more. I'm gonna give this a 3.75. Okay, my battery's flashing. I'm going to try and just not talk about this and wrap this up. Next up, I'm still reading Throne of Glass. I don't think I've made any progress since we last chatted. I'm on page 240, so I still have so much to read. I've just not been in the mood for a fantasy, I feel like, but hopefully I will be soon. I'm going to try and finish this, close out this video. Okay, wait, also I'm gonna try and talk fast, but I also got one of those like stamps to stamp all your books with your name. I'll show it in a clip here soon, stamping this book, but I'm super excited about it. Thank you so much, Lindsay. She got that for me for my birthday, best sister ever. Okay, I can't believe we made it, but bye. <laughs> y'all just saw i finished throne of glass this book was so much different than i expected and i mean i went in with knowing nothing okay i also just felt as though it was predictable which is fine i mean don't get me wrong there's so much i still don't know and i'm like looking forward to learning more about and stuff anyways i really liked it i just like wasn't super eager to pick it up I think I would rate it like a 3.5. So far, I really like our main character. I feel like she's giving all the badass vibes she needs to give. Also, I'm not going to say the trope because I don't want to give like any spoilers, but I didn't know that was going to happen in this. But I am liking our other characters. I'm so, so glad I got to reading all three of these books. You want to do my outro for me? Yeah, what do I do? Just tell them goodbye and thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.
Bye. How's that? Perfect. <laughs>